This is my reception of WWV and WWVH US government time signals. This is a very rare occurrence, folks. Usually I am able to only get Fort Collins, Colorado, WWV on 10 megahertz, but I am clearly copying Hawaii and Colorado at the same time in Virginia. It's crazy. You can hear the two AM signals clashing, the heterodyning. It's crazy, folks. Listen, you'll be able to hear it. In a few moments, uh, Hawaii will identify, and then Colorado. That was the Hawaii lady, and this was the Colorado man. So you can hear tones, both tones, clashing at the same time. Now, these two AM signals don't clash the way you would think when you hear two AM signals clashing. They coordinate well. When one station is doing a voice announcement of some sort, the other station is silent, and vice versa. This is extraordinary, folks. This is a good, very good example of propagation. When the conditions are perfect at night and the conditions are good, you can pick up AM signals from around the world shortwave. I tell you, even though technology's come so far, this it's, it's just amazing. Okay, now listen, here it comes. Now Colorado is becoming progressively stronger over Hawaii. So that's a good indication of propagation. When the time when when the time is just right, you will be able to hear both signals clear as crystal on a shortwave band because it bounces off of the clouds in the ionosphere of the Earth, bounces off the clouds, and you can pick them up from anywhere around the world. Let's try 15 megahertz. I want to see what 15 megahertz is offering us. Okay, we can't hear 15 megahertz, so let's go back to 10. I'll try a narrow bandwidth, maybe that'll help. Okay, now here we go. At the tone, four hours, 38 minutes, coordinated universal time. As you can see here, I am only using this little cheapy wire antenna that runs up there. And I tell you. And then I'm also using this antenna, this rod antenna that connects to the radio. And the thing is, I've done some research and I figured out signals are long distance signals. Here, I'll turn that down. Long distance signals are best picked up in the winter. So because of the way the globe shifts and the atmosphere changes and more clouds accumulate, the signal can bounce off better. If, if you know what I'm saying, it literally can just bounce across the world, across these clouds. Now, this, this WWV and WWVH you can barely hear the Hawaii lady now. Colorado is getting very, very stronger. But tomorrow is the first day of fall, so this is really a good way to break in the fall, just to know that you'll be able to pick up AM signals and shortwave signals very, very good. So that again, folks, is um, WWV and WWVH, U.S. government time signals. This is uh, broadcast by the National Institute of Standards and Technology. And basically what they are is a, a research company in the U.S. I'm not sure. But anyway, there's many time signals around the world. There is a CHU Canada, which broadcasts atomic clock coordinated universal time on 7.850 megahertz, uh, 7,850 kilohertz for all you short waivers out there. And um, yeah, just it works great in the winter for picking up long distance signals. I tell you, it's it's amazing.
at the film for hours, 31 minutes, coordinated universal time. I also want to give a big shout out to Radio Ham Guy, who introduced me to the whole shortwave WWV. I didn't know about WWV back then, and, the, and then I saw his video, and I'm like, wow. So I just tuned to it one day, and I'm like, well, that's pretty cool. So um, thank uh, for Radio Ham Guy for also giving me great advice on receiving long-distance signals. And um, thanks for watching this video, guys, and more videos to come.